and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about signing your work, your name. Yes, sign your work. It's called Pride of Ownership. People want to know who did this. So don't have your name disappear in the foliage or in the texture of the painting. Make it very clearly signed. This is not a doctor's script. Make it very legible. And it better match your website, too. So this isn't the time to make up a goofy name like Kitty Cat or Puppy Dog or Sweetheart. They need to find you. It's called marketing. Marketing. Yeah, it's marketing. Otherwise, you're just invisible. So you can make a choice. Do I want to be invisible or do I want to sell my work? Hey, I need to sell my work. I want to sell my work. So I sign my name and it matches my website. So whether you're doing oil painting or acrylic painting, let me show you the two tools that I use to sign my work. So the time-honored way to sign your name is with a tiny little brush. These tiny little brushes, well, I have so many letters after my name that it would look like blah, 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 blah. I can't do it very well. So thank goodness for the new technology of pens, whether it's acrylic painting or a watercolor painting and or an oil-based painting, which seems to be the big question. These are some of my oil-based paintings. Look at that. Sharpie. It even says the word paint, so I know that's oil-based. They come in different sizes, different colors, oil-based. And even this one called Zig Painty. Great name, isn't it? That's also oil-based. So I have several different kinds. My favorites happen to be Deco Color in every art store, deco color, as in decoration. Again, they come in black, silver, gold, and various colors. For my acrylic pens and paintings, I will use the Faber-Castell Pitt Artist Pens. They're known as conservation quality inks, and once they're dried, they're permanent. Yay! So they're not watercolor-based pens permanent. So that's what I sign mostly with and also great for sketching, conservation quality sketching. Those are the two pens that I use, whether they're water-based or oil-based. Let me show you what I do. Now I know this sounds pretty obvious, but I sign everything, including my watercolor sketches, my paint sketches, my acrylic sketches, everything. And I usually spend one moment in the studio where I sign everything. So I clear the deck. I don't do it as I'm running out the door. Take your time. Do it uh, slowly. This is not the time to write your name like that, like you're writing a doctor's script or something like that make it legible. So here's a, a loose sketch. I'm using the Faber-Castell Pitt Artist Pen, signing your name slowly. And I put a little cushion underneath my hand, plenty of space, I'm not running out the door. Slowly, R. Burridge, slowly. Very legible, and it's consistent. That's another important part. So, some days I think I'll do scripts, some days I'll do printing, whatever. I'll do something clever and do it backwards. Don't do stuff like that, okay? That's too cute, okay? And kind of amateurish. Follow the masters, that's what I've done. And I don't put my date on the front, I put the date on the back. And I also, what I don't do is put all those letters you see a lot of artists do is they uh, put all those letters, AWS and FFC and 
ISBA, and all those, it doesn't mean it. That should go on your resume, not on your painting. Your painting should sell itself. You don't need all those MFAs. I've even seen people put MFA out. Who cares if the painting doesn't communicate? You don't need all those letters, okay? After it. Now here's an acrylic painting. And I also leave a space somewhere, left side or the right side, to clearly see my name. You're not bragging, it's called marketing. And keep it consistent. Simple, no date, no letters after your name. I'm just doing a series. Like today, I'm using the whole day to sign my name. Pride of ownership. Here's another one. And I usually do this after the varnish. It's a smoother finish. Can't miss this. And this matches my website. Now this is the water-based, but it's conservation quality pen. The oil-based, a little bit different. It should be oil-based, all right? So it's all consistent. Here I'm using the Deco color, liquid gold. You can use those. Even the Sharpie has an oil-based. It's kind you have to do this to it, all right? Press down a little bit. Make sure it flows beautifully. All right, and here we go. Very clear. This could be white, gold, silver. I happen to like the silver. It seems to show up really well. B -U -R -R. And I do it so it's not so obtrusive. I know paintings where the artist right, signs their name right right in the middle. Okay, no ego problem there. All right, I hope this clears up some of your questions and makes it a little bit clearer about signing your oil paint based paintings or the acrylics. And uh, I don't sign it with a pencil, I make it permanent. Thanks again for watching and I hope you learned a whole lot on this one and I can't wait to see you on the next Bob Blast. Hi there, I'm Bob Burridge, and we're going to the Bahamas this February. I cannot wait to go there with you. Can you imagine doing a workshop, painting by the beach, by the poolside for five days of painting? I cannot wait, because it's most relaxed. I call it a paintcation. Can you imagine painting every day, but there's the bar, there's the beach, and we're right there, we're relaxed and we're creating wonderful paintings in this incredible Bahama aromas, the florals, and the, the wonderful aromas of the, of the food cooking, and the ocean right there, fresh air, and perfect time of the year to get away, right? And to have a great time. It's my favorite place. I call it a paintcation. What a great name for it, a paintcation. And we're going to be painting loose abstracts. Wow! So I'll see you there, and I cannot wait to paint in the Bahamas with you.